Hi everybody. Thanks for joining. I'm so glad you're here. By the way, this is my cat Charlie. Say hi Charlie. Hi. Yay, it's a collaboration with Erin from The Handbag Housewife. Today we are doing our pink bags. So, <laughs> Fuchsia Floyd, the name of my channel. There is a, a, kind of a, a sort of a long story behind it, which I won't explain now, but I will link the introduction video b below, which explains why I got the name. The story goes way back to high school also. It's a play on the band, Pink Floyd. There are many intersections that have led to the reason why Fuchsia Floyd. But you can imagine, Fuchsia is a part of it. I will start with a luxury brand, Pink Bag, and I will end today's video with a luxury brand, Pink Bag. You have, I have not shown either of these on my channel before. Ooh, I know, exciting. And then in the middle, I will show my contemporary brand, Pink Bags. So in essence, it's kind of like a pink bag Oreo with luxury bags on the outside and then ooey gooey middle stuff, contemporary bags. Does that make sense? Yes, I hope so. Here we go. So we will start off here with this McQueen bag. This is the mini legend. Is it? Okay, I'll say this all throughout the video. Isn't it a beautiful color? <laughs> I think so, obviously. So it's a little bag that can be worn on, on the shoulder. I wear it cross body with little top handles. Isn't it? I mean, it's just, I think it's so cute. I love the details of the studs and this metal little looks like a little bow tie or this little crossbar here. It, I'm going to just turn it a little bit so hopefully you can see how it reflects the light there. And it looks exactly the same on the back. It's the same styling on the back. I just, I mean, I just, I just think it's super, okay, I'm, I know I'm going to say that through the whole video, so I'll try not to, but I can't help myself. I think it's a super fun bag, the mini legend. Here's my second bag. Uh, this is, obviously you can see here, this is a coach. It has the two zippers. I did not buy this new. I bought it from my local secondhand store. So because of that, I don't have the um, official title. If I think about it to look that up, to put it in the editing, then I will. But one of my favorite features about it is that it has this um, open section here, which, which is super easy to put my phone. So. Yeah, I mean, I really like it. It works great crossbody. Crossbody bags are my favorite from when it's just me going out to run my errands or do my shopping. It's, that's my preferred kind of bag to use. So, yes. Oh, and by the way, when I was uh, uh, checking out uh, this to get this bag, the girl behind the counter said, I love that color. She was like, that is the perfect pink. I was like, I agree with you. The Tory Burch. Mini Ella, this has made a recent appearance on my channel, a little bit of a therapy session. Uh, the reason why, because the, the color of the leather reads just a little bit differently than the color of the nylon. I thought at first it was a fluorescent pink, but actually it's a fuchsia pink, which, anyway, I'll link this, uh, that video below. I started wearing it after that video. Uh, that video was uh, bags that I'm afraid to carry started by Alana from Coach Craze and Aaron the Handbag Housewife tagged me to do that video and I realized that I could or should start wearing this bag and I have been it's it's really cute and it fits my phone which is a bonus so yeah the Tory Burch mini Ella Here's a new bag that I've just recently gotten from The Real Real. This is a Francis Valentine bag. As you can see here, it is a raffia. I was gonna say straw, probably raffia. I don't know, it's like wicker-ish. Um, I just loved, of course, this pop of fuchsia pink on the front. There's the Francis Valentine logo. And then when you open it up, it has this very fun interior. The black and white stripes. I mean, actually really spacious, more room than I need for just my uh, essentials is a phone key wallet. And it has a removable adjustable strap. And this is what the back looks like. It has this oval shape. And this is what it looks like. I mean, it's just a great 
great summer bag. This is the MZ Wallace Micro Satin in the color Dragon Fruit. It is absolutely one of my favorite bags because it is so lightweight. This nylon bag weighs absolutely nothing. The only weight is from the hardware. And this is detachable, so if you wanted to like hand carry it, then it would be even lighter. So absolutely adorable in my opinion. I love to wear this. So easy. I love the little top handles. It's just a pop of fun. Very similar in size and shape to that MZ Wallace Micro Sutton is the Longchamp La Pliage Extra Small. I've done a review on this bag before. It's not in the fuchsia color, but it is in the pink family. So this is an antique pink. It reads to be a very light blush mauve color. I really enjoyed using this back in the spring as I was preparing for the review. Love the, the feel and the squishiness of the leather. It's very hard wearing. I won't go into the review now. I've already done the review, but I really like this bag and it uh, goes into the pink family. Also in the pink family, but of course in a lighter color, this very light blush pink color is the Strathberry Mini Stylist. Strathberry is known for their use of this bar in their designs. It is very slim, but actually poofs out here, as you can see on the bottom, to where I can get my phone keys and a small wallet in here. So yeah, this is the, this, this bag was also featured in that bag I'm afraid to carry, bags I'm afraid to carry video because of the light blush color. Nevertheless, it's a beauty. The leather is absolutely wonderful and it's pink, although lighter pink, it's still a beautiful blush pink. So this is obviously is the Louis Vuitton pochette accessoire. And in my opinion, it's very beautiful detailing here with the, the writing and the V. I know that they made this on other pieces such as the Never Full. I got it off of the Real Real. It has this matching bright pink interior. I love it. I just, oh, I just had to, I, I love it. I just had to grab it when I saw it come up, come up because I thought it was very special and something that I definitely wanted to add to my collection. A throwback to the video, so nice. We bought it thrice. I have three Coach Rubies, not the new Ruby satchel, but the Ruby crossbody. But this was my first Ruby and I found it at the secondhand store and I was drawn in by the color. I was like, what is that bag? I love the color. Once I started looking at the bag, I was like, oh, I like the design of this bag. So the Ruby is very similar to the uh, Louis Vuitton favorite, except it has a little turn lock, which I just, I adore. And it has a pocket in the back. But yeah, the Ruby crossbody, adjustable strap, removable strap. I mean, it's just a win, win, win in my opinion. I love it so much that you know, like the video would imply, I bought three of them, but the other two are in the uh, smaller version. So this is the equivalent to the MM, and I have two more that are equivalent to the PM. Love it. And now it's time to go for the big bags. This is in the color Boss Up. It's from the brand Limea. And oh my gosh, it's just everything you would want and need when you're in the mood for pink. It has these very fun little pockets here on the outside, exterior pocket on the back, and also a luggage sleeve for traveling, which could be zipped up to be used as a pocket or opened up to be used as a luggage sleeve, obviously. So anyway, it's like pink and more pink because when I open up to show you the interior color, it's, oh, it's also a really beautiful, lovely pink. There's a place for a laptop or anything that you wanna keep separate back there. I really had fun uh, taking this on a trip I got a lot of uh, compliments on it because people don't often see this bright of a color um, as a backpack. And so, yeah, it's, it's definitely, it's a power pink, I think. And it has a sibling. <laughs> this is the tote, the equivalent of the tote. Oh, but that backpack was, the, the style name for that backpack is called the Sophie. And the tote is called the Charlie for the Limea brand. My teaching tote. I keep it at work and move it around from my office to 
classroom. I don't have my own stand a standalone classroom. I have an office and then I teach in different classrooms. So this is the bag that I keep in my office and then I load it up depending upon what I need for the different classrooms. So it's, 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 a, it's a wonder. It, it, ha it holds my laptop or my teaching materials or whatever things that I need here in this back, pou back pouch and a big compartment for random things in the middle and then smaller compartments here and here. There's also smaller pockets on the side. I won't take time to show you everything about, about the bag because I know we're here to look at the pink, not necessarily all the little things, but it's got this little pocket on the front and a big zipper pocket here on the back. So yes, my teaching tote that I take around. One more tote to show you here. This is a Dooney and Burke tote in this beautiful fuchsia color with the brown accents. It's nylon. I, I got it because I loved the little leather tabs on the ends because it has, it kind of gave that like never full little detail here. I like this attitude. I like the knot with the straps of leather hanging down and it's more pink on the inside. So it goes from like the fuchsia pink to the, to the neon pink inside. Definitely need help uh, keeping things organized inside of that because it is so big, but wow, it's really fun to use this Dooney and Burke tote. Any of my other previous videos, I, I, uh, I've said that several times today, but um, for those of you that might be new, I just wanted to give you some context. Anyway, I started my channel with an unboxing of a Fendi Fendista. I had three Fendi Fendistas in my So Nice I Bought It Thrice video because I love that bag so much. It's probably my ultimate favorite luxury bag. The size, the proportions, like everything just works perfectly for me. Since I've done that video, I've added another one to my collection. And since it's included in today's video, you can guess what color it's going to be. So I will reveal it here now on this video and I'm so excited to share it with you. Here she is. Look at this. Here is my new Fendi Fendi stuff in fuchsia. <laughs> How many Fs can we get in there? Fendi Fendi stuff fuchsia. Look at this beauty. Oh my goodness. Yeah, let the light come in on that logo there. Oh, wow. I, I mean, I just, I couldn't just let this bag sit around on eBay and let somebody else grab her. She belonged here. She belonged with me. She belonged in this video, which, you know, I just, I'm just delighted to be making with Erin, by the way. Thank you, Erin. This bag has came with, as you can see here, silver hardware which is different than my other uh, Fendi Fendista bags. But oh my gosh, I just, oh yes, look at this. For me, this is perfection. So now here, this brings us to the conclusion of today's video with this, this beautiful new bag here for me, new to me anyway. I mean, she's in great condition actually. She does look new, the previous owner. The previous owner has kept her in wonderful condition, so. Anyway, I digress. So I really appreciate you joining me today on this video. If you haven't already subscribed, now would be a great time to do so. I would love to see you again here on this channel sometime in the very near future. You take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.